Yo. Good afternoon. Welcome, welcome. If it's your first time, welcome back. If it's not, um, side of course I'm gonna take another little break from ranked because I played some last night. I also lapped Jun for June, Jun, June for a little bit. But um, I played a little bit of ranked last night. As you can see now, I am purple. I'm a purple guy. Only one, um, another set of ranks away from blue. Cause uh, that's, I think ultimately that's my goal. I know people voted for me to shoot for the highest rank possible, but I mean, I'm pretty satisfied with, with just hitting purple right now, as soon as I did. But uh, yeah, blue coming soon, cause blue is my favorite color. Purple is close, but like, the purple ranks don't look that good. The, the blue ranks look fine. All the blue ranks look fine. So I don't even know which one I'm gonna stop at. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I'm in no rush to hit a, what's it called? Oh, fuck. I always forget to turn off, like, all my alarms because I set, like, so many just in case. Because sometimes I feel like snoozing the first one or two alarms, and then I let the other alarms wake me up. But yeah, let me go ahead and pop this link in. Also change the tag on the stream so it has that discoverability as always. <laughs> what else, what else? Get ready for the next battle. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, after, um, I, I was in a tournament the other day, <laughs> didn't do that good, well, I'm not gonna say obviously, I didn't do that good, but I mean, I won, won one match out of the set, but the big takeaway is I got to watch Dragunov win it all, I got to steal some uh, tactics from that Dragunov, so like, now, so, this string is very essential. That shit is very OP. Like, you can do it out of after doing back two. You can do it after doing down two. You can do it after doing a down jab. Oh shit, hold on. But yeah, you get the point. You can also do it after doing a. Uh, Yeah, also do it after doing quarter circle four, quarter circle forward four. Oh sh, I don't even know. Oceana, 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 Oceania. I don't even know how to pronounce that country. I'm sorry. I did just wake up recently too. Round one. But yeah, I mean, I guess I should have streamed those ranked matches, but I mean, I'm like, fuck it, I don't have to stream every single rank. Match. It's going good, hey, Rakuga, how are you? But yeah, I'm just uh, taking a break from the grind right now. But yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna stream every single rank session. I was like, I it wasn't gonna take me that long to hit what I was trying to hit too. I was like, I'm like halfway from purple, so I was like, I'll just run some quick uh, ratchets before I go to bed. Let's see. I, uh, I've also been playing like another game in the background. I've been playing Undertale. Uh, that game is pretty, pretty fun. I got kind of stuck though on this one part, so I was like, I was taking a break from that too, low key. Like I'm very close to the end of the game, but this uh this boss fight is kind of putting me in a blender right now. So yeah, it's like a 
I want to say an RPG game. It's a roguelike, I think. Uh, kind of like a bullet hell type game. So I just be dodging a lot of shit. And uh, I'm taking like the pacifist route. So I'm not fighting any monsters. I'm just making peace with them and sparing them. And then I'm at the end. I got to... Gotta spare this last guy, but he's making it hard. He's making it very hard for me to want to spare him. I kind of want to go <laughs> go back on my work. Yeah. I was like, I do enjoy ranked, but I do feel like it's necessary for my own well-being to take breaks from it sometimes, especially since... If I'm like in a super duper rush to hit my goal, then I'll probably end up losing a little bit of my sanity. <laughs> it's just how it goes sometimes. Yeah. And like you get a little bit of, you start dropping a little bit more combos, you start missing a little bit more inputs. And it's like, okay. Yeah, maybe I should play something a little bit lower stakes and clear my head. Right. I uh I was gonna start learning June too, cause um, I played a little. I even played a little bit of ranked with Zathena last night. I got her to. Um, oh yeah, I forgot about that game. I gotta, I gotta start that game. I gotta hop on it, hop on the wave. Cause I remember downloading it when it was free on PlayStation Plus, but I haven't actually opened the app yet. Yeah, shit, I might even pull her out this stream later on, because uh, I'm feeling better about my dragon of with each passing day, stealing some tips. <laughs> yeah, she's uh, starting to use like some of her stances a little bit more, like her scarecrow stance is pretty nice. But yeah, I was like, I think uh, after seeing all these June players, I kind of want to play her. She's uh, she's super aggressive, and I like the aggressive characters. It just seems, yeah, <laughs> to say the least, she's a tricky bitch. It just always seems like she has a frame advantage or something, because like, she can do whatever she wants. Starting to surprise me a little bit. Fight over here. I've been using the heat smash a lot more too. I, I should still use the heat dash a lot more, dragging up. Uh, Zafina's heat dash combos too. Those are pretty fun because like she doesn't really get that much combo damage. But uh, once you use that heat dash and get him to a wall, she goes up. <laughs> yeah, it takes a little bit to master. I'm not gonna lie. Really, I just, uh, since I use Dragon Ball as a rush down character, I really just use it like as a, I guess, amplifier to help me put pressure on with him, because all that chip damage, that shit adds up. Even though it gives them recoverable health, like, if they start hitting you back, whether you block it or land it. Yeah, yeah, it's funny because uh, 
people would say like she's in heat or he's in heat and i'd be like oh shit that's kind of crazy to say because like that has a whole nother meaning <laughs> yeah, I, i'm not gonna lie i got a bit of a dirty mind so i'll be hearing that too but i've just gotten used to saying it <laughs> I like the quick select option too, so I don't have to go back to the character select screen. I can just do it from right here. And I feel like June has some good customization options too. That was another factor. I was like, I could probably make some fire outfits with June. I haven't looked at her customization options yet, but I mean, just looking at her default outfits, I'm like, yeah. Get ready for the next battle. Oh, it was like a translation thing for uh, for what they called it. <laughs> yeah, she be shooting beams of light at people too. I'm like, shit, let me get in on some of that. I could use a character with a little bit of like projectile, I guess, like range. Because I do get shot by Victor's pistol a lot. I get shocked by uh, Nina's pistols. I'm like, shit, let me shoot something too. I don't have anything to shoot with Dragonov. Let's start. Or Zafina. Round one. Fight. <laughs> right? Like bringing a gun to a fist fight, that's how you're feeling? See, I like that dash combo right there. Round two. Maybe I should use her parry more too. Just like that. <laughs> Lily with some laser beams. Yeah, she would. She would probably be. S tier with those. Cause I mean, I don't know. I feel like uh, even though Lily isn't like that as powerful, I guess she she did get like a minor upgrade, and like I've heard people say stuff about her hitbox. All the Lily players are like super duper good. Like they don't, it doesn't tears and shit only matter to an extent. Yeah, but like. They be really showing like tears really don't matter. <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely gonna have to try her at some point. I don't know, everybody's so fun to play, I'm gonna have to at least run through everybody at the roster at some point. Right? Even if they made Dragon of the weakest, I would still be running him. That's my dog. Oh shit, gotta fuck that up. Yeah, uh, I don't know, it's just something about it. A silent killing machine. I would have been, I would have had the same loyalty with Brian if I had learned him in Tekken 7 too. I kind of dropped him after Tekken Revolution because uh, I was having trouble landing that jet upper, which is like a big part of his offense, so. Uh, I think that was supposed to be <laughs> that, yeah I was supposed to punish that with a different string <laughs> I forget that she has a 16 frame launch in, so like yeah there's definitely certain characters I struggle with most I definitely struggle with like stance based characters more because I gotta like remember a whole nother set of moves after you break into their uh, their stances
That shining wizard, man, she always is. Amateur. Oh no, the throw. Ah, <laughs> uh, there it is. I am trying to remember what other moves, like, because of these stances, like, okay, I gotta uh, remember a whole nother set of staple moves, too. Not just in a ra Oh, that was the last round. I didn't even realize. <laughs> I thought there was one more round. <laughs> Round one. Sometimes you lose track. Right. Oops. I meant to uh, do my little tornado. Oh, or that's the wrong move. <laughs> yeah, I did. What's funny too is when I was uh, playing those ranked matches last night, I um, I had a promotion chance against the king, and I won. I ended up losing the set one to two, so I was very close to promotion. I was like, what are the chances that like the first time I ran into a promotion and well, I'll remember my opponents for all my promotion matches. But uh, I know that like that king stopped me from promotion that time. So I was like, what are the chances that uh, king stopped me from promotion the first time by plugging on me? That king plugged on me. I was like, okay, might be beef with all kings now just because of that king. <laughs> I try not to let one bad apple ruin it for the rest, but I mean, sometimes it's just like, okay. I see how you feel, and then yeah, so that other king uh, actually just beat me fair and square. I was like, okay, I can respect that. Yeah, and also kings and their grabs, grabs be my weakness, and like you know, kings like to kings like to grab. It's his game, so I can't blame them. But you know, those grabs are kind of demoralizing to get hit by, no matter who you are. That was a nice uh, low grab. I mean, low block. No, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, drop that. Nice. I'm getting better with the ducks. I feel like I duck a lot with Safina too, and it's a good habit to get into because, uh,. I like to use her while rising launch for that one. <laughs> yeah, not to mention almost all those grabs like take like half of your health bar. Way less forgiving than other characters grabs. Uh -oh. Yeah, there's one of them. I forgot. I've gotten hit by the death roll a couple of times, and it made me uh, not the happiest camp. This king is uh, pretty good at guarding his legs, but then again, Zafina's lows are... Uh, I do have a few complaints about Zafina. I want to say her lows are like pretty, pretty slow and pretty seeable. It's like I don't have that slide that Dragonov has, and I don't have that down two that he has. So it's like whenever I want to go low, I have to like use like that one or like uh, use that one, this one, this one. Oh yeah, for sure.
Yeah, her, she does have some good mix-ups. Definitely out of those stances. Get ready for the next battle. But yeah, sometimes I wish she had like a 12 frame punisher too. I have to use her 10 frame punisher for almost everything because she doesn't have a 12 frame one. And then her launcher is 16 frames, so I can't punish rage arts with a launcher. I have to punish them with just a 15 hit, a 15 frame string. Uh, I should have used the, what's it called? This one right here. Poison mist. And then that grab. I gotta watch those grabs for Yoshimitsu. I forget they like to use those. Fight. Yeah, I do like using her tarantula stance and then going into that mid like that. Oh, I kind of had a brain fart right there. I forgot what I wanted to do. But yeah, I still got to tap into those mix-ups, but I mean, I'm getting, I'm getting there. with that I forget I can use this one to go oh, gosh. 10 hit combo Slide. <laughs> she looks so cool when she lands it too. Oh, that's not the combo I meant to do. Hopefully I don't sell the round because of it. Oh, that low. <laughs> that low has a lot of range on it. I still gotta get used to fighting some Yoshimitsu's, of course. Uh, he doesn't want to give me the practice. That's okay. What other moves am I not using as this? Get ready for the next battle. Time to take out the trash. Your fate is already decided. Kind of gave her like a librarian look Round for this one. customization. And I was like, Fight. let me give her something with like colored hair too. But like this. <laughs> She really feels like a librarian of the, this get up. Ooh, I almost punished that. I was kind of wondering why he was like backing up so much. Nice, nice. 
This is gonna put him to the floor, right? Yes, sir. Starting to get, I got forget. I gotta use that forward, forward three. That little down kick she does. That's a nice little frame advantage. want this launcher. Is this gonna hit? It will. I wasn't sure. I was like, oh, I think I already used my tornado in this combo, so can't really set him up. You win. This is your fate. I really like the customization they allowed for the eyes. Basically choose the color of their eyeballs. Except you can't choose any color. I don't know why you can only choose like a specific set of colors. I saw his Jaggy with yellow eyes. I was like, is she the only one who can get yellow eyes? If so, that's kind of interesting. gonna break the wall on me. Well, I guess not. Oh, I was just a little too slow to press square. Round two. <laughs> Fight. I always mess up the last part of the floor break sometimes. No. Sometimes walls be messing up my combos. As much as they help, sometimes they be messing up my combos. Damn, his long ass legs. Okay, yeah, he got me with that grab. <laughs> His long ass legs. I was trying to get out of range and then do do my little stream that I knew was gonna help me close it out, but <laughs> Round One Fight <laughs> Mm, 
now it's a nice low parry. Can't parry them all, boo. Fight. It's over. Yes, sir. You gotta take advantage of that tarantula stance sometimes. Fight. <laughs> I love going out there, legs with that little claw. <laughs> Get ready for the next battle. Get ready for the next battle. Asuka? Don't see many Oscars anymore. I feel like a lot of the Oscar players switched over to Jin. Round one. Fight. Ooh, got it with that. That cancel. Oh yeah, I just learned how to eat cancel today, because like sometimes I've seen people like activate hit but not do that. And I do the punch that they usually do to activate heat. Because everybody likes to do like some kind of strike once they activate their heat. But uh, if you press back back, you can actually cancel that. I only learned that today. I had to Google it. Fight. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I hate when I end up facing the wrong direction because of that. Blocking way to stay patient. I really thought she was gonna attack me right there. <laughs> oh man. Round four. Fight. People forget that Zafina has some low launchers that she can use. Or maybe they just don't know in general. Ducking. 
nice. Had to rely on the lows at the end there. Oh, I might dumb A. Hey, I forgot to share this link. Let's start this. I should have been sent this. Oh, I gotta copy and paste it to my keyboard again. Get, get wicked, Zafina. Start spinning on the ground. All that shit. Ooh. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> I didn't expect to do that launcher, so I was like, what combo do I do after I do this? Where's the... Okay, here it is. Fight. Multitasking over here. I'm not using my bows enough. I need to get her ducking so I can just launch. Chill. doing in the background. Those sidewalks are nice. That was a nice duck. That tracks? I like that. I like Final that. Set. I need to use that more then. Fight. I make her miss her heat smash. Oh shit. Wrong, wrong buttons. <laughs> to my tarantula stance. <laughs> she was not going for the... She wasn't going to protect her legs in that tarantula stance. So I was surprised. I was like, I can get her with the mid, maybe. maybe. Get ready for the next battle. I might go back to Dragon on just because... Uh, Just cause I want to flex my rank a little bit more and these customizations, which one the Get ready for the next battle. That low is <laughs> that low is nasty, bro. I'm glad they gave him that. Get ready for the next battle. <laughs> Round. Let me get into the dragon on mindset again. Right, what the? I can be flexing a lot for real. Just a 
barely missed that. Yeah, I know it's, this weather has been very cold lately, but I heard uh, we're going to have an early spring, so that's good. But I mean, it's been getting warm here in Texas, so fortunately, because uh, that cold weather, when it gets cold in Texas in the wintertime, it gets cold and wet, like super rainy, and it's not very fun at all. Not a good time for anybody. But yeah, I love a good shower. Good hot shower always gets me right. I swear, people like winter. I'm like, how, bro? Like, I don't know how you can be a fan of this cold. And people are always like, oh, I'd rather be cold than warm because, you know, you can always put on more layers, but, like, no matter how many layers you put on, some part of you is going to be cold. Bro. I don't care. And, like, socks don't really help either. For me, it's like socks, like, keep the cold in rather than keep my feet warm like if my feet get cold and i'm wearing socks i'm like you know with that cold the whole time i got those socks on oh uh, yeah and i hate when my socks get wet too my socks or my shoes get wet yeah it's just a bad time round one fight <laughs> I guess so, sir. I guess uh, you didn't see too much of the Zafina, <laughs> the Zafina play, huh? I was, I was like, let me go back to Dragon Ball just to flex this, this rank a little bit more. This might be real I was like, felt like I played a decent amount of matches with Zafina. I don't know. I don't mind alternating between the two. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, exactly. That's why I say I can't move. I say I can't move up north because it's just way too cold up there. Like, they actually get, like, real snow up there. I'm like, that shit is not for me. I would, I would be sick after my first day up north. My first snow day. Oh, man. I know it gets bad in Chicago, but when you see me... Yeah, she's getting there. I just gotta use her lows more because I use a lot of her mids and like people don't duck unless I actually like get them with some lows, so. Final round. I gotta condition them a little bit. Just like this Jack is conditioning me with these lows right now. <laughs> Going crazy with that uh that robotic arm to my ankles. It's okay, I got I got something for that. That's what I got. Love a good floor break, wall break. People never guard their legs after you hit them with that uh, that one string into the crouch dash. I like it. That was a nice punish. Ooh, I gotta use my heat right here. There we go. Get into the wall. Oh, that power crush. I was definitely not expecting that. Super sad. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm starting to block those lows, Jack. You're gonna have to show me something different. That's something different. <laughs> Man, these combos be fun. I don't know, after playing this, like, I know I remember. I talked about going to Tekken 8 or Tekken 7 because I hadn't uninstalled it yet. I don't know, if I go back to Tekken 7, I might, I might either be as or I just might not be like, damn, this is nothing compared to Tekken 8. <laughs> yeah, I've started to like really uh, rely on some of the new moves that they had in. Yeah, it's like a whole whole new game well I mean yeah, a whole new game but like I don't know whole new vibe to it aggressiveness during the fights system oh I'm letting them get me with those low fight oh now he ducks Starting to get me. Uh, oh, I really thought I was gonna be able to whiff punish that. Damn. I uh, I dropped the ball there with the uh, what's it called? Quarter circle four four. Blah blah blah. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> get ready for the next battle. So good match. No complaints about how I went out. I'm not gonna lie, I still do miss Kazumi and Marduk and Josie and them though. Still like, still wish to see them in this game at some point. I can hold out hope. Call me crazy, Round but fight. Oh, you miss me again? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, I do not, and I never learned that matchup. <laughs> he was always, he was mixing me up crazy, and his lows, he's got very nice lows. If anybody has nice lows, it's Miguel. His yell too, he has that iconic yell. He, he does that same yell after like 90% of his moves. My stomach kind of hurt. Those wing, I had some wing stuff yesterday. Oh man, spice always has its price because. I I like to order like mango habanero wings and the Cajun wings and boneless wings and I get them with blue cheese and they always end up killing my stomach at some point and right now is one of those times I'm starting to feel it I'm like yeah should have known I couldn't enjoy some spicy wings without you know the pain that comes with it <laughs> right Like what they say, they say spicy in, spicy out. They mean that shit. You win. 
Yeah, I wish, you know. The thing is, like, I can tolerate the spice, like, when it's on my tongue or whatever. Like, I, I've even done the one chip challenge, and that, that challenge fucked up my stomach, too. I'm like, fucked up it way worse than it's ever been fucked up. But uh, I did the one chip challenge, like, I could handle the spice in my mouth, but like, once it got to my stomach, I was like, GG's. Yeah. And, but it didn't fuck up my friend's stomach. I was like, how did you do the, like, because he gave me half of the chip. Like, we did it together. He got half and I got one half. But I was the only one suffering, like, with my stomach like that after that. I was like, how did you, you just got an iron stomach or something? Like... Why am I the only one going through it right now? Round two. Fight. Yeah, I was like, after that, I was like, yeah, never again. I prove that I can handle them. I got a spice tolerance. Oh, I love hot ones. I don't know why I stopped watching it. I used to watch it almost religiously, but yeah, I like that interviewer too. He's always asking good questions. Ugh. Are the hot one flavors like? Are they good at least? I remember like at one of the at a Christmas party for work, they were giving away some like hot ones hot sauce sets. I was like, I wouldn't mind getting one of those and seeing how good those hot sauces actually are. Yeah. They got like the Scoville levels on them too and everything. Yeah, I was like, shit, they need to put me on hot ones. I could take the spice. Some of some of them be handling it though. Like, I don't know who I think. Uh, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head who are some people who can handle the spice like with a straight face for the most part. I know like Jenna Ortega, I think uh I think uh somebody else. I can't remember which episodes I've seen. It's been a while. The bomb sucks, yeah. <laughs> Is that one like cause I know some some of the hot sauces like they're so spicy they don't really have a good flavor to them. Like, I know the Atomic Wing Sauce from Wingstop, that one's so spicy, it doesn't even taste good. It's like, I want it to be spicy and taste good. I don't want to have to compromise taste for spice. And it's funny, too, when he does that dab on the show of the bomb. People are always like, why are you, like, shaking the bottle like that and then, like, adding so much? It's like, it's the last dab. What do you mean? This is a tradition. Oh man, <laughs> I want to say I probably have, but I watched The Simpsons a lot as a kid, but I don't remember any of the specific episodes, but I know I used to love The Simpsons. I should watch it on a streaming service one day, but yeah, I probably have, I just don't remember doing so, watching that episode. <laughs> yeah, you know, it might remind me of that, uh, that reminds me of the Spongebob episode where, uh, Sandy was giving him that hot sauce or whatever. He was like, I command by the power of the gods for this one drop of hot sauce to be really, really hot. Put a face on it and everything. <laughs> uh, I love that show, man. Spongebob is really timeless. There's like endless memes too from Spongebob. Round four. Shit, I'm gonna make sure my kids watch Fight. that show. I don't have any kids yet. I don't have any anytime soon, but when I do, they're gonna know about Spongebob. Gonna put them on, you know, I gotta start them early. One thing I noticed too is Nice yeah. Round one. Shit, even my uh, little Fight. brothers and sisters, I mean I, I know they know about SpongeBob, but like I'ma still show them some of the shit that I like to listen to, some of the shit I like to watch because uh, okay. I feel like they'd be missing out on some shit if I don't show them it. Yeah, 
it because I know I'm not the target audience for a lot of these kids shows nowadays but and I know I'm biased when I say this but like oh I love the regular show that's like one of my favorite shows the funny thing is I didn't really watch it that much when it was on the air but when they put it on a streaming service I've watched it like two or three times now like start to finish that's one of my favorite shows. I'm like, I can't believe I didn't really watch this when they were airing it on Cartoon Network. Yeah, Rigby and Mordecai, they get into some shit. <laughs> like, there'd be memes talking about most regular episode of regular show, and they were talking about, oh, we gotta like help this unicorn take the science or take this U.S. history exam, or else the world is gonna blow up. <laughs> it's like, really? They, they they had to explain that to Benson. It's like no way, no way. I'm believing that shit. Party horse, yeah. Party horse is hilarious. Yeah. I like that one where they beat that one dude's high score too. I forgot what his name was. Uh, he had initials for it, like giant floating head GF GFH or something. Garrett Bobby Ferguson. Yeah. Oh yeah, Benson does kind of remind me of Squidward. I kind of feel bad for him too because it's like if Mordecai and Rigby did their work, he'd be such a cool boss. Garrett Bobby Ferguson. Yeah. You win. I like how they made him make like multiple appearances throughout the series too. Like his his father even showed up or whatever. Gary Gary Bobby Ferguson and Garrett Bobby Ferguson Jr. on that highway Ready episode. For the next battle. And then Mordecai, Mordecai blew it with CJ, man. CJ, I wanted to see him with CJ as opposed to fucking Margaret, but it is what it is. I can't, I can't control how they, what angle they go with the show. Mark Hamill, I've, I remember that name. I didn't realize he voice skips though. That's interesting. I didn't realize that. Get ready for the next battle. Who else does he voice? Cause I know I've heard him voice some other characters. Round one, and I know I watch a I watch a lot of shows that uh, Keith David has done voices in. Keith David and also Gary Anthony Williams. I like them; they're good voice actors. He said, "Luke, check the chat on my phone. I might have missed the message before that." Round two, fight. <laughs> Yeah, I have some other Troy Baker. Troy Baker, I'm not sure if I've heard of him, but I know like uh, Tara Strong. She's another like popular voice actor who's in a lot of shows that I watch. Gray Delisle. There's some voice actors that are just very like household names and I like know them anytime I hear them and I feel satisfied by knowing them anytime I hear them in media. Like I'll look up something and I'll be like, this sounds just like so and so and then I like actually Google it. I'm like, I knew it. I knew I could tell their voice. Oh yeah, he was the Joker. Who's another one? I know uh, John John DiMaggio. Is it John Dim DiMaggio? DiMaggio, the the guy who voiced Jake in Adventure Time. I haven't really watched Adventure Time. I could never get into it, but I mean, I've seen clips and snippets of it. I'm like, this show seems kind of funny, but uh, I don't know. Maybe I should start from like a certain point in the season or like a different season, because starting from the beginning, I don't know. Oh yeah, Bender. Yeah, I recognize him from Bender the most. I love Futurama. Yeah, I, I just need to, you know, just not give up on it so easily. Round 
Yeah, I've heard some like good things a lot about a lot of 90s cartoons from Cartoon Network that I didn't really watch, like uh, Flapjack and Chowder. Like, I didn't really watch those two shows, but like, I hear a lot of people, you know, say good things about them. Like, maybe I should watch them since they're on the streaming service now. Okay, you just don't want to guard low, huh? Yeah, some some shows you gotta like really like stick with them. Like I know, I don't know how much anime you watch, but I know people talk about One Piece. Bro, I watched so many episodes of One Piece, and it still didn't really tickle my fancy like that. Round three. Yeah, I like I've seen like some of the story arcs. I've even like read up on like some of the Adventure Time wiki. I think learning about uh, Marceline and her father and like uh, what's his name. That uh, that character with the skull, the the one who was like fall, and then you know, Jake, uh, not Jake, Finn fell to his knees, and then he was pretty much preying on the downfall of like the people of Ooh. I forget his name, but uh. Yeah, I've read into some of the lore of that. I'm like, this is kind of interesting. I just, you know, I got to actually stick with the show. I'm trying to remember his name, bro. I can't. Adventure Time Villains. Not gold, but uh, yeah, one of the bad guys. The His name is like the something. The Lich, the Lich. Is it the Lick or the Lich? The L I C H. I've seen some clips of him. I'm like, this Get seems like an interesting antagonist. Battle. And you know, uh, I was going to talk about Justin Roiland, but I mean, he's kind of like, a, eh, he's not. He's not really of good moral character in real life, so never mind. But I was able to recognize his voice once I heard him as Lemon Grab after hearing him in Rick and Morty. Get ready for the next yeah, the Ice King, I remember seeing like uh, him as just like a regular person as Simon, yeah. But I didn't really know how he ended up becoming the Ice King. But I would be interested in learning. Cause, uh... It's unfortunate how he ended up, how he ended up. But I mean, sometimes self-sabotage, you can't avoid it. Some people can't avoid it. Ah, I see. Yeah, that money will change people sometimes. I'm hoping to always stay a sound character, no matter how much money or how, uh, how much notoriety I get. Hey, replace him. Yeah, I feel like, uh, for sure. Glad you tapped in, stop by. It's nice to have you. I'm glad too. I'm finally starting some uh, some shows that I've been meaning to start for a while. Like I got some recommendations. Whenever I get like a recommendation for like a show or a movie or something, it always takes me a good like I don't know. 10 to 15 business days, maybe more, <laughs> to start a show. But I finally started this anime I've been meaning to watch. <laughs> and it's what is it's everything it's cracked up to be. Like people were people were not uh, capping about the quality of the show. 
I'm like, yeah, I knew I should have started this sooner. I knew better in my heart of hearts that I should have started this show sooner, but I was just too lazy. I was I was watching some other shows at the time, too, and, like, those get in the way. I don't like to watch too many shows at one time. GG's. Yeah, I'm glad I could finish that one strong for you. Glad I could uh, let you go on a win. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny too, because if it's like music, I'll uh, I'll listen to it pretty quickly, just because music only takes like two or three minutes most of the time. Oh. Am I going to be able to whiff punish anything? Oh no, he's not missing. Round two. Fight. I think he's just trying to practice blocking these lows. I'm not gonna lie to you, because uh, he wasn't really doing any anything offensive right there. I don't blame him either, because I need to work blocking lows too. Sometimes I do the same thing. I'm like, let me just play very defensive this round and see if I can actually see these lows coming and block these. And then I end up losing the round most of the time, but I'm like, well, I tried to practice. I tried to work on some fundamentals. Yeah, I'm like, sometimes I get opponents where I'm able to like practice some things that I usually wouldn't be able to practice because some people are just way too aggressive. Like, okay, man. Trying to work on my fundamentals here. Like, work with me. Yeah, exactly. Like, the more IQ you build, the better. Like, you gotta take away some moral victories from some losses, you know? It's like, I might have lost that match, but I parried a bunch of lows and I didn't really drop any combos, so I still did good. Wasn't like I just completely sold. I improvise some combos, I use my heat smash, I use my heat dash. Uh -oh. Wasn't expecting him to launch me after that, okay. Ooh, got me with that low. My stomach pain is starting to come back. All right, Lee. I might have to take a bathroom break after this one. <laughs> if he gives me a rematch. Oh, he can't even let me finish that. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna take a bathroom break. <laughs> Be right back.
I, I feel so much better. My mind is clear. Get ready for the next My stomach is relatively clear. Um, I was watching TikToks in the bathroom. I saw a clip of like Yoshimitsu bouncing around on this pogo, on this uh, katana, like a pogo, just like trolling somebody. <laughs> Nigga said, what is Madaraga doing? <laughs> uh, I found it quite humorous. Get ready for the next battle. <laughs> Round one. Fight. <laughs> <laughs> a nice push oh the giant swing off of the heat dash that's not something I'm used to nice At first, I thought I lost track of him at first. Thought I was gonna miss that uh, quarter circle forward for him. Damn, I was trying to do my full crouch down forward one four. Oh my god. Missed the input so many times. Round three. Fight. I had a feeling you go for the nut shot. I was just waiting on it. I don't know why I haven't been doing my wall running forward to the wall, man. I was like, you know what? Let me go low once off of the wake up against the wall because people, people traditionally, you know, they block that uh that blizzard hammer I do in the back one plus two. I was like, it's about time I start going low, huh? When they go low, I go lower. Damn, twice in a row. Don't break my back now. Fuck. Oh, grab me out of the wake-up kick. Okay, then. Okay, King. I see how you're bumming now. Fight. That's what I get for attacking after getting my shit blocked. These grabs are starting to add up. Damn, you interrupted my 4-4k, you're bold. got me with the kick too he got me with the kick see i knew the grab was coming but i ducked a little bit too soon that's the number one way to beat me man is with grabs That was a nice 
was the nicest sidestep or whatever. Ah, oh, there goes the shining wizard. Yes, sir. Round two. Fight. Ah, oh, there goes the shining wizard again. Gotcha. I got gotcha you now. Got my own grabs. Round three. Fight. Oh, Scheisse. I didn't mean to do what I just did. Okay, yeah, those grabs. They got me again. Fight. Got me. Caught me doubling up. Oh, I should have pressed back back. Yeah. Oh well, I still got it. Bro, I need to work on that. I need to work on canceling my heat when I'm out of my heat activation. When I'm out of distance, when I'm way too far away. Get ready for the next battle. <laughs> There we go. Just to get a couple of reps of this thing, you know, before I go into some matches. Get ready for the next battle. Just do a couple of reps of heat cancels every time I end up in the in the warm up in the dojo. Fight. Nice. Man, I need to get that wall running for it. I'm itching for it. Here we go. There we go. Finally. If you're not gonna duck, I'm gonna have to take them legs. Fight. Got me. It's okay, I knew a big combo wasn't coming out of that since I was at the wall already. There we go, I'm starting to get it down. Started to get it back again. Round three. I love that loop I get into. That loop is crazy, bro. <laughs> oh, man. People just don't see it coming, bro. And I'm not going to lie. I would not either. For the most part. Round one. My singular crow is better than her many crows. Man, got hit by that second kick. Swift punish. Nice combo. I should have known the low was coming at some point.
Damn, she's not gonna me get my heat activation in at all. Do I have to activate my heat manually? She's not going for no shit. I have to activate my heat manually. That's how I gotta do it, cause she's not letting me get my one two one. Oh Oh shit, damn, I don't know why I pressed into that. I was gonna demonstrate, like she's not letting me get my one two one. she's not letting me get my back 4-3. Oh, she... Crushed that, didn't she? Oh, she interrupted that. That was nice. That was nice. <laughs> Sorry for getting rough back there, she says. Had me worried there. I was like, I guess there's no rematch. <laughs> Round one. Fight. Oh, I keep running into that monster. She's patient as fuck. She is patient as fuck. Which is why I kind of keep going for the lows, man. She keeps blocking everything else. Not falling for the frame traps. Oh, that's a... That's a 1 plus... I mean, that's a 12 plus. Punish. Grab break was nice, and grab break was nice. She is so patient, bro. She is not going for anything except lows. She is not going for anything except the lows, bro. I gotta keep doing the lows. You see why? Oh, God. No way she got me into that wall with that interaction before I could fucking... Yes sir, I baited it out. I just had to be a little bit patient. That was close. That was very close. Get ready for the next battle. I kept doing all these shit that would give me a frame advantage hoping that she would mash into it and her ass was not going. I was like, okay, you leave me no choice but to pull out the full crouch down forward one, four. 
until you block your legs because goddamn you are not blocking your legs you are just standing 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 i was like let me try a grab too she broke the grab i was like okay i guess i gotta keep keep on with the loose get ready for the next battle like i'm not trying to spam I'm not trying to keep punching into my opponent's block either. Say so that would have been a wall running for a moment. Oh shit, I didn't realize the wall was that close. Keep going. Oh, wasn't expecting them. Oh, I ran out of my heat when I was trying to do my heat smash. I was like, dude, let me interrupt this the heat smash. Ugh. Ran out of heat at the worst time. Oh, I forgot about the flash, huh? Oh, is this gonna hit? No! <laughs> that sidewall fucked up everything. Fight! Forgot about the flash again. Oh, he flashed me out of my heat smash. That's crazy. I'm tired of getting flashed by Yoshimitsu. By another grown man. <laughs> I always forget about the flash, man. Round two. Fight. Oh, I got to duck that. I know I got to duck that. Should have used that flash right there, you would have had. Fight. Ouch. I got a duck when it goes into that helicopter. Got me right there. Damn, right when I was about to get that wall running too off, I was like, now's the time. Now is apparently not the time. Oh, I got a duck. Why am I not ducking that? Fight. Oh, 
Okay, go to the ground. I can't hit anything from... <laughs> I can't get in range. I can't get in range. He's keeping me out of range. He's keeping me out. a little bit more defensive but properly oh, I try to initiate the slide so I can crush that but I just need one while running too, but I accidentally pressed forward a little bit too soon. Just a bit too soon. I'll take a, I'll take that one win out of the set though, because uh, Yoshimitsu is a tricky customer. Whole lot of tunes today, huh? Round one. Fight. Nice. Damn, look at that damage. Oh, was not expecting that. Wasn't expecting me to land this either. Not going in. Oh shit. Oh, that was a nice jump kick. I love keeping that pressure on him. I love it. I love it. Fight. Oh, the power crush. Carried that low, but I mistimed it. You win. Round 
It's nice to hear that Dragunov is top tier character is just like consensus from everybody. Uh oh. I like how I'm punished in that string appropriately. Nice one, that's a nice one. I'm punishing that launcher good. And I'm low parrying her shit pretty good. I love how that elbow can be parried. <laughs> Sometimes I just like to look at people's profile just to just to see what's up. You know what? I kind of want to look at my profile because uh, I want to see if any of my stats have improved. Like my defense in particular because I know my defense. It's always something that needs work. Defense, defense. My block up is be is an S now. It's not S plus, but it's an S. And my defense is a 64. It used to be a 59. It used to be a 59. Shit's going up. My promotion match win rate is 50% now too. Look at me. I'm starting to clutch up. Check my emails real quick. Hmm, I need to do my laundry actually too. Hold on.
Okay, I might just have a couple more matches and then... Actually, I might just call it a stream right now. <laughs> might just go have some matches in like a fight lounge or just practice with June because uh, I'm trying to learn her. Or maybe I'll go watch that anime, Vinland Saga. Vinland Saga was the name of it. If anybody was curious, that anime is fire. I'm on episode two, and it's been it's been moving pretty pretty steady at a good pace. Hasn't been taking too long for me to get into it, so that's good. But yeah, shout out to everybody who tapped in. Shout out to everybody who may or may not have followed. If anybody followed. But yeah. 